Okay, I thought this might be kind of interesting uh, for those of you that's going to move down here and uh, plays golf. I'm going to uh, put in me and um, three of my friends um, on golf and how to get a tee time a week in advance. Today's Wednesday and I'm going to put in for a tee time for next Wednesday. And uh, um, this will be done through the Villages uh, .net web system. If you want to do a tea time on the computer, it'll cost you like seven dollars a month to uh, be part of the Villages .net, and um, you have to have your uh, resident ID to do it, and you have to have your golf pin number that they'll give you when you buy your house. So don't lose that golf pin number. It's very important. Uh, first thing you gotta do is go to villages.net, which I have up here. We'll click on that. This has automatically got me logged in here. It, I don't want to lose it. My username that I put, give them up there and uh, my password was just here. All kinds of stuff is on here. Airport shuttles that you can arrange to go to the airport. Uh, careers in the villages, jobs that is. Citizens First Bank, uh, Community Development District, um, just all kinds of information on here for residents. So let's hit the, the log in. And then I'm going to hit golf. I'm not interested in email. There's a, You get email with this too, but I never use it. And then the events about uh, what's coming up, you know, as uh, far as, I don't know, uh, New Year's Eve parties and things like that. News, I don't care about news. Golf. All right. Now we're on plays with golf. Okay, it's got my name and my ID. I'm not concerned about anybody stealing this because you got to have a, a pin. Okay. After that, and then we go in here. It says request reservations. You can go to reservations and you can go for like the same day tea time. You can go to any golf course, click on it, and it'll show you where there's an opening. And you can just, well, let me see if I can do this real quick. Create a new reservation. I'll just put one golfer in me. Are there any guests? No. And you have to choose a championship course or an executive course. Let's say executive course. Okay. Okay, and I said view tea time. So I gotta put me in here, don't I? Where am I at? Where am I at? So there I am right there. Okay. I got to select a play date, which would be, let's say, I don't know, Thursday. Open. Okay. Here's all the golf courses, executive courses, Gray Fox, Hawks Bank, Arrow, and it goes all down. Oh, my God, there's just, there's just a ton of golf courses here. Let's do one uh, just around the corner from my house. I'm not a sweet gum. I'm not even sure if it's open yet. Well, I guess it is. There we go. Starts at 7:29. The zeros means that they're full. Four people has already got that slot. Four people has that slot. Four people has that slot. Four people has that slot. It starts at 7:29. That's the first tee of the day. Here's one here. There's one slot available. So if I was playing by myself and I just wanted to play golf, and I'm willing to play at 8:05, and I'm willing to play with three females. Zero males, three females. I can I can put me in right there, and I'll take that slot. Here's one, three females. There's a slot. I could take that slot, uh, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just showing you what can be done. If you'll notice, it's full, full, full. This is the snowbird time of the year again, so uh, these golf courses fill up quick, all of them. Okay, if I had a foursome, me and three other guys, Here's the first four summer that I could get in for tomorrow, 5.32 in the afternoon, which is okay for me. I just uh, don't generally do that. So uh, let's go back to what I want to do. And I literally want to set one up. Okay. So I want to put in a request. I don't want to make a reservation. There's a the difference. Create a new request. Okay. And I want to do it for next Wednesday. 
right there, Wednesday. Maximum number of golfers, there's going to be four of us. So I put in number four. Are there any guests? No. We're going to play executive. Any course? No. I don't play any course because the villages are so big now that I don't want to get up at 7 o'clock in the morning for a 8.30 tea time and take a one-hour golf cart ride in the morning to go play. So my time to play is going to be 10, 10 o'clock. The earliest I want to play, well, let me say here, let me, let me back this up. I'll put 10.29. That's actually the legit tee time is 10.29. You'll learn this all after years of putting him on here. My earliest will be 10 o'clock. My latest tee time will be, I'm going to put down, I don't know, 1 o'clock. 1 o'clock. And what's your preference, the course or the time? Mine is the time because I'm going to put in many courses. And then to continue on, okay. There it is. Play date, 11-1, Wednesday. Oops, where's my camera here so you can see? Let me get this up here a little bit. Okay. Time to play, 10-29. Earliest time, 10. Latest time, 1 o'clock. Now i got to put in the golfers. Well, i got to put in the golf courses, but I'm putting in golfers. So I'll show you how that's done. Okay. I, I put in uh, tee times for a thousand different golfers because I run the uh, Hillsboro Men's Golf Outing in, for full-timers in the summer. Starts um, the first Wednesday in May and it ends the last Wednesday in September and it's for full-timers. I mean, we, we've got 60-some people on the list. Over half of them are part-timers, so in the summertime they're not even here. Uh, so basically, yeah, mine's for full-timers, but if some of the part-timers come down in the summertime, they send me an email saying they're going to be here for a couple of weeks and they want to play golf with us for a couple of weeks. That's fine. We put them in. It's no big deal. Okay, select from list. Well, I'm number one. And when you do this, the original maker of the tee time, which is me, has to be one of the players. I cannot make a tee time for you and your friends. A little bit more. Okay, now I got all these golf courses I got to choose from here. So I'm going to pick the ones around my house, and I live in the middle of a bunch, which that's what makes our area such a great area to live in. I live around a lot of golf courses. I could put a ton of them on here, but I'm going to. Okay, we're going to go with. Uh, what am I going to go with here? Hmm. I, don't, I ain't played for such a while. How about Palmetto? I ain't played there a long time. We'll go Palmetto. Notice it popped up over here. These are going to be the list of golf courses over here that I'm putting in for. Palmetto will be my number one choice. And then Sweet Gum will be my number two choice. And then Volusia will be number three. Southern Star will be number four. Yankee Clippers number five. Truman, Roosevelt, uh, what else we got here, Sarasota, Scambia, Okeechobee, yeah that really should be enough to make sure we get a tea time, uh, I don't know, I'll put in Sand Hill. That's enough. One thing I want to change. See, I want to take Sarasota. I want to play Escambia. I want to play those three first. Well, I don't want to play them. I want. I would prefer those. So I'm going to move Sarasota down. Put it on the bottom. So you can still do that. So my number one choice is Palmetto, then Sweet Gum, then Belusia, Southern Star. Yankee Clipper, Truman, Roosevelt, Escambia, Okeechobee, Sand Hill, Mangrove, Sarasota. 
I'm going to get one of those courses. I remember I put my preference as time. So I might get any one of these courses. It's hard to tell which one. And I don't really care. And there you go. So there's my, uh, there's my golf request. For Palmetto, Sweet Gum, Belusia, and all them that you already know about. And there's my four players. And uh, they will... Um, they will send me an email three days or yeah four days no now now well, roughly four days before the tea time I won't know which one of them we're going to get I really don't even know the exact tea time I'm going to get I put in for 1029 but I might get a tea time at 1115 I mean I don't know yet because the uh, village's golf system will set it up and it goes by points most of my players have zero points I got zero points because I ain't played in two weeks. But the other guys had zero points except one guy. He had one point. That means the odds are we're going to get our tee time when we want it because people here will play golf five days a week. So they end up with five, six, seven points all the time. So if you've got four guys with, seven, say, five, six, seven points on them, they're averaging 20 to 28 points. We're averaging right now one. So we're going to get our tee time before they are. Not that they won't play. We're just going to get our tee time that we asked for. My priority tee time was 10:29, so the odds are I'm going to get that. Um, and they'll send me a notification Sunday, and it'll say on there what golf course we're playing at, what's our tee time, and that's that's it. That's all there is to it. So that's how you make a tee time on the computer system. You can also do it on the phone. You can call in, absolutely free, part of the village's system. I used to do that when I first moved here. Um, I personally think it's a headache, the way it's set up. The guy's voice on the phone, I don't have the best hearing in the world. Most older people don't. He'll talk to you on the phone and, and give you choices, uh, you know, press one for this, press two for that kind of thing. And you can't quite understand him. It's just a bad voice. They ought to get, uh, the voice ought to be changed to something else. Um, and I'm sure they know that. It's by choice that they put somebody on there, and my feeling is they put somebody on there that it's hard to understand, and if you mess up, then you gotta start over again, and it's a process on the phone, so you just get frustrated, and you come to the computer where you can go in, boom, 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 you're done, you're out. And I just feel like that that phone system is set up to be the way it is, kind of encouraging people to go to the computer system, which puts money in the village's pocket. So, but it's not much. It's like seven bucks a month. So, okay. But when you got uh, hundred and some thousand people, let's say fifty percent of them people play golf at seven bucks a month, it adds up. So anyway, that's how you do it. Hope you enjoyed it. That's all I got to say about it. So I'll see you on the other side.